So friends, it looks like Earth is going to be getting a second moon added to its skies. Earth to get a new moon on September 29th, scientists say. Say hello to 2024 PT5, Earth's newest mini-moon, expected to go into orbit of Earth for a couple of months from September 29th, 2024. PT5 is a near-Earth asteroid that's about to be captured by our planet for a short time before being released back into the solar system to orbit the sun. Here's why, when, and everything else you need to know about Earth's mini-moon. Mini-moon, what is 2024 PT5? 2024 PT5 is a near-Earth asteroid and it's 11 meters in diameter about the same as two giraffes. It's known as an Aruna asteroid and its existence has been revealed by a study published in the journal Research Notes of the American Astronomical Society. This is a short article, so I'll finish it up for those of you just listening in. Approaching Earth at close range and at low relative velocity, it will go into orbit on September 29th and depart on November 25th when it returns to orbiting the sun. It will also come very close to Earth on January 9th, 2025, the report states. Earth regularly captures in Yos and pulls them into orbit, making them mini moons, according to the researchers, which describe the mini moon as a temporarily captured flyby. So I wanna let everyone know that this has happened before. It's considered another rare event, and the last time this happened was in 2020. The object is named 2020 CD3, and it orbited the Earth for what they think is around three years. Three years. An asteroid about the size of a car. And another object in 2006, RH120, that stayed in orbit for a little over a year. Now, an object of this size just flying past Earth may be taken as insignificant, but when objects like this fly into Earth's orbit and stick around for a lengthy period of time and then fly back out, I have some questions, and maybe some of you have questions. And I think the greatest question here is, since most of us cannot see objects like this without the proper viewing equipment and coordinates to locate it, we have a limited number of people who we just have to take their word for it. So how do we know that this is just an asteroid? And will it actually stay in Earth's orbit for the amount of time they say it will? You know, sometimes they tell us things so as not to arouse suspicion. And I don't think any amateur astronomer would randomly discover such a small object on their own. So why even bother telling us about it at all? Hmm. Seems suspicious. So, according to Universidad Complutense de Madrid, Professor Carlos de la Fuente Marcos, many moons come in two main types, long-term and short-term. The long-term variety involves an asteroid orbiting Earth for a year or more, sometimes making several complete loops around the planet. On the other hand, short-term many moons don't last as long and may not even complete one full orbit. These brief encounters can last anywhere from a few days to a few months. Marcos explained that for an asteroid to become a mini-moon, it has to pass close to Earth about 2.8 million miles away, while moving at a relatively slow speed of around 2,200 miles per hour. When that happens, Earth's gravity can temporarily trap the object. 
At this point, only two objects have been documented with long-term captures. 2006 RH-120 and 2020 CD-3. Meanwhile, three short-term captures, 1991 VG, 2022 NX-1, and 2024 PT-5 have been identified, though more have yet to be publicly recorded. Short-term mini-moons like the upcoming 2024 PT-5 are fairly common, happening a few times every decade. Long-term mini-moons are much rarer, occurring once every 10 to 20 years. Eventually, gravitational forces from the sun pull these mini-moons out of Earth's orbit, sending them back to their regular paths around the sun. After its time near Earth, 2024 PT-5 will resume its place in the Aruna asteroid group, but most people won't be able to see it. According to Marcos, the asteroid is too dim and small to be seen with ordinary telescopes or binoculars. He says, to observe it, you need a large professional telescope at least 30 inches across, along with a special detector. Just the telescope and the naked eye won't be enough. His team is planning to study 2024 PT-5 closely using advanced observation techniques to gather more information about the asteroid's composition and behavior. So now that we have the basics of this mini-moon phenomenon, let's talk about this. This object is going to be in orbit for about two months. And they don't know what it's made of. They don't know its composition, or at least they are not telling what it's made of. They don't know what the last object was made of. And even if they do tell us, all they're going to say is that it's made of silicates, carbon compounds, and some metals. And then you can make of that what you will. Now, some people already are speculating that this is not an asteroid, but a spacecraft. Well, even if it is a spacecraft, it's pretty far away. When we've had UFOs that have stayed in our skies for months at a time. At times, you would not be able to see them, but they were hanging out, drifting in our skies for months. But let's play around with this idea that this could somehow be a spacecraft intentionally designed to mimic an asteroid. Let's pretend for a moment that the observers were going to be completely honest and they identified this asteroid to be, in reality, a spacecraft. In order for an object like 2024 PT-5 to be identified as a spacecraft rather than a natural asteroid, several conditions or characteristics would need to be present. The object would need to show signs of artificial construction, such as smooth geometric shapes or materials that don't occur naturally, like metals or alloys not found in asteroids. Spacecraft are typically built with components like solar panels, antennas, or engines that would distinguish them from irregular rocky surfaces, or at least the ones we can build, right? You would look for unexpected changes in speed or direction, potentially indicating propulsion or active control systems. It could also maintain a controlled, stable orbit rather than the chaotic gravitational capture seen in asteroids. A spacecraft might emit radio signals, thermal radiation, or other types of energy that would suggest it's powered by internal systems. If you could detect these things, that would strongly indicate an artificial origin. The presence of any kind of propulsion, such as small thrusts that adjust its orbit or orientation, that would be a clue. If the object reflected light in a way that indicates a flat surface, such as solar panels or specific coatings, it could point to artificial origin. You would look for signs of manufacturing. If 2024 PT-5 were an object intentionally designed to mimic an asteroid, certain 
subtle characteristics would distinguish it from a natural asteroid, despite efforts to make it seem natural. Even though the object might mimic an asteroid's rocky or irregular surface, close observation could reveal small discrepancies like unusual uniformity or textures that differ from known asteroid compositions. Spectroscopic analysis could detect materials that are rare or non-existent in nature. For example, engineered alloys, composites, or manufactured metals might be present instead of the typical rock and metal mixtures found in natural asteroids. An asteroid should follow a gravitational trajectory. An artificial object might show small deliberate course adjustments to maintain a more controlled orbit or path, which they have observed in the past. In other words, if it were a spacecraft, you should not be able to predict how long it's going to be there. You should not be able to predict where it's going and when. Does that make sense? So if observers start telling us that this object is changing course or they were wrong about their predictions, that might be a clue. Even minor adjustments in speed or direction could indicate that it's not a passive, naturally occurring object, okay? Any low-frequency encrypted or intermittent emissions that don't align with natural phenomena could be a clue that it's artificially designed. But of course, only a few with that type of detection equipment would know that. A spacecraft Pretending to be an asteroid might try to mimic an asteroid's tumbling or rotational motion. If the rotation is too uniform or controlled, that could be a clue. Tracking its trajectory backward could reveal an unusual path, like a sudden appearance from a specific direction that doesn't align with typical asteroid origins, such as known asteroid belts or or cloud regions, if it appears to have originated from Earth or a location associated with human space activity, it would raise red flags. That would be a clue. And they have proposed this before. You'll hear them say, maybe it's a small chunk that broke off the moon or a piece of space debris from Earth. Another clue is if the object appeared unexpectedly close to Earth or during specific geopolitical events. And that would suggest intentional placement rather than a random natural occurrence. So here's the deal. Remember, this type of phenomenon has only been documented a couple of times in recent history. And what that truly means is that this object is a preview. It's a preview of something else that is coming in the near future. Why do you think they are even telling us about this? You see, these objects are so small, you can't just look up at the night sky and see these things with the naked eye. Not even with a telescope. You need a big telescope. But they are getting us ready for something. Because one day, you probably will. And people won't know what to think or how to process it. And men's hearts might fail them. Anyway, that's going to be all for now and there is more to come. I do have a recommended video for the day. Watch that video. It will be linked on screen at the top right corner of this video. And in the description box and pinned comment below. Please hit the thumbs up button on your way out. Check out my other links in the description box below. You can also find me on Instagram at jwoodward if you're interested in sending me any clips, reels, or any other information. Everyone have a great day. And as always, friends, stay awake, stay aware, stay safe, and I'll talk to you all soon.
Every minute of every day, your body heals, repairs, and regenerates you from the inside out. Yet everyday exposure to heavy metals and toxins builds up and blocks your body's natural abilities. Natural zeolite is nature's answer to our toxic body burden. Breakthrough sound wave technology creates the world's first colloidal zeolite. Touch tone essentials, pure body extra colloidal zeolite helps clean out the chemicals from the body with an easy to use spray so you can make room for healthy in your life. Click the link in the description box below to order your supply of zeolite today. Because now is the time to live your best life.